let us go over one of the core teachings within Neville Goddard's lectures. If you apply the following towards your own goals, you will get results. Now the following is true in every aspect of your life. You want to be rich? Well, that's the story of Jesus, which is a persistent assumption in the conviction that I am rich. For unless you believe that I am rich, you die in your sins and continue to claim I am poor. You want to be known? Then persistently assume I am known. You want to be healthy? I am healthy. Regardless of what you want to be, you must declare you are already it and persist in that assumption. An assumption is an act of faith, and without faith it is impossible to please God. Your reasoning mind may deny wealth. Your senses deny it too, but if you have faith you will dare to assume wealth, thereby becoming more the man that you want to be. Maybe tonight you would rather continue to worship a Jesus Christ on the outside. Maybe you would rather continue to walk with the sheep of the world and not be the shepherd, but you would like to feed on green pastures by still waters instead of climbing the steep hills of doubt and fear, as most people do. You can if you will persistently assume, I am well fed. I am wanted. I am known and everything is as I want it to be. But remember, to bring all these things into being, there must be a persistent assumption. That's the story of Jesus. Now we are told in Jeremiah that God's word will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intents of his mind, which is that you become God. In the latter days you will understand it clearly. It is God's purpose to give himself to man, and he will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intents of his mind. So in the final days he sends a hunger unto your heart, not for bread, a larger home or jewelry, but for the hearing of the word of God. When this hunger possesses you, nothing will satisfy you but an experience of God. And if it is God's purpose to give you himself as himself, when you have experienced his word, you are God. I am not asking anyone but you. What would be good for you? Tell me, because in the end every conflict will resolve itself as the world is simply mirroring the being you are assuming that you are. One day you will be so saturated with wealth, so saturated with power in the world of Caesar, you will turn your back on it all and go in search for the word of God. I remember when I had so much wealth. I did not have one home but many, each fully staffed from secretaries to gardeners. That was a life of sheer decadence. I recall walking out of it and not returning. Whether they ever found the body, I do not know, but I do know I deliberately walked away. Then about 10 years ago, in one of my journeys in spirit, I walked back into the world and saw it just as it was before. Strangely enough, everyone recognized me and welcomed me with open arms, but I stayed only for a moment and then returned here, bringing with me its vivid memory. So I do believe that one must completely saturate himself with the things of Caesar before he's hungry for the word of God.